my brother was assistant manager at an electronics store, which is kind of like a Best Buy. And he came out with the manager. They were locking up. And here's this guy with the hood up. From what the manager testified, my brother looked at him. The guy was next to in his passenger door. And my brother just went like, I'll give him a ride. Right. Like he asked for a ride, had his hood up, making like look like his car was broken down. And so the manager's like, oh, okay, whatever. Guy gets in his car. They drive off. The manager gets to the freeway, feels weird about it. By the time he drives back to the parking lot just to check, the truck with the hood up was gone. He had my brother drive him three blocks to a residential area and shot him. By then, he ran back to his truck and left. It was a nightmare. It was a shock. It was a thing that you read about. You think you only see in the movies. You could never imagine. We were so bewildered. We had no, my brother's such a kind man. Even his kindness, saying yes to give this guy a ride, ended up getting him killed. Some The neighbor, because he landed on his horn. So it was 2.30 in the morning, woke people up and they got the phone call that, you know, it, it was just devastating. It was so devastating. We were shocked. We didn't know what happened. We were trying to figure it out. He had a fanny pack. The fanny pack was still on the car. So it wasn't a robbery. It was like so much. And it wasn't until the girlfriend called us and we're like, hey, we're over here. We're grieving. We're trying to figure this out. Come be with us. And at the time, I, I mentioned my ex was a cop. He was trying to get all the investigation stuff going. And he was like, so they identified this red truck with this sticker on it. And she's like, wait a minute. My ex has a red truck with that sticker. And, and it all just started coming together. And we we're just like, oh, my God. So that was devastating. And I'll be honest, when that happened, it was such a shock. I turned my back on God. I was so angry. I was so hurt. And I said, you know what? What if you don't exist, God? What if there's nothing? And if you do exist, I hate you for taking my brother. And that's how I felt. She's so like, how could this be part of this plan? 